Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and I'm a writer and a proofreader. Currently I'm working on my debut novel entitled Queendom of Chaos. I'm here today to talk to you about the do's and don'ts of building your author platform. Many writers will try for years and years to grow their platform and get increasingly frustrated that they're not seeing results. This is understandable because most of the time these people are actually putting in daily work into their platforms. They're putting in hours and hours and throwing out content, but they're really not seeing it pay off in any sort of way. But they may not always be putting their efforts into the right areas, or they can just be leaving a bad impression on others. So let's take a look at the things we should and should not be doing while growing our brand. Do be consistent. Now this is a huge one. Your audience not only wants to hear from you, but they want to know what they can expect from you. If you post one week about book covers and then don't post for another three weeks and your post is about your favorite sorts of trains and then another month later you're talking about all the foods that you cut from your diet, you are really confusing your audience and they aren't likely to stick around. First off, you need to be consistent in how often you're posting. If you are on YouTube, maybe once a week. Pick a specific day so your audience knows when they can expect the newest content from you. If you're running a Facebook group, perhaps once every three days. And keep yourself reined in. Now, you don't always need to be posting the exact same things. If you want to branch out, that's totally fine, but make it an addition to your regular content. Anything outside the regular postings is just a bonus for your audience. Don't expect an audience to randomly find you on the internet. Creating your website or profile is not enough to gain a following. You need to consistently work these platforms. People are out there creating content every second on the internet. And if you have nothing new to share with the world, the chances of people stumbling on your unused website and following you is virtually zero. Do engage with your audience. People follow you because they care about you and what you have to say. And they're more likely to continue following and supporting someone who's real to them and not someone who acts like they're too good to interact with their followers. Don't create drama. Fighting with the haters or arguing about a bad review that you were given is just creating unnecessary drama. Now this may attract an audience, but not in the way that you want to. Drama seekers may look in on the argument to see what's happening, but once everything settles down, they're gonna be gone and the people who are following you who don't want the drama will have already left. You do not want to make yourself out to be someone who can't handle themselves. Who wants to follow someone like that? Do ask your audience to engage with you. You can do this by asking engaging questions on posts or encouraging them to share their opinions. The more your audience engages with you, the more these social media platforms will recognize that people care about what you're saying and they'll share your content to a larger audience. Don't sub for sub. I know this can be extremely tempting, especially in the beginning of growing your platform. You think that if you gain followers up front really fast, then the platform is going to share your content. Now this is true only to a certain extent. While platforms do care about follower content, what they really care about is engagement. If no one is watching your videos, liking your posts, or commenting, it makes it clear to these platforms that your audience isn't enjoying your content and they'll actually begin to share your content less because they think no one's liking it. Do try something new. The things people like to see are what's fresh and unique out there. And you really can't lose by trying something new on your platform. If your audience didn't like it, now you know what direction not to take your platform. But if they love it and ask for more, you've now found something that sets you apart from other authors. And you will see growth because no one else offers what you're offering. Let me know something in the comments that was different that you tried on your platform that your followers absolutely adored. Don't beg for followers. I've seen so many people beg or even get mad at people for not following them or liking their content. Immature. Again, people don't wanna follow someone who can't handle themselves. Just have patience. Do put yourself out there. Creating a website is not enough. You need to be able to engage with others, keep them up to date on your work, and let them know about all the future projects you have coming to them. This means you need to be active on social media in some sort of capacity. Now that can be a blog, YouTube, Facebook group, Twitter, whatever floats your boat. And make sure not to overwhelm yourself with all of the options. Pick a few that you enjoy and you're comfortable with 
and that it seems your audience is enjoying connecting with you on. Don't buy followers. Much like sub for sub, this will diminish the amount that these platforms will share your content with your audience. All you're doing here is confusing the algorithm and your content is being shown to people who have no interest in what you're sharing and it's hiding it from people who want to actually see your content. Also, it's extremely clear to people when you're buying followers and it makes you look really desperate and dishonest. Grow your audience organically. The audience you build will be those who love your work. Do engage with your competitors. Who better to interact with than those in your field of expertise? They're knowledgeable on the topic, they already have an audience, and they're willing to share what they've learned so you don't have to repeat their mistakes. Plus, when you're commenting on someone else's post, others are seeing that. If people are finding value in what you're commenting on a post, they may just wanna check out your profile or channel. And by engaging with your competitors, I don't mean marketing yourself. Be real and be genuine. Tell them what you love about their post, why you like following them, or the impact that their work has had on you. Trust me, people are more likely to interact with those that are genuine than those just out there trying to get ahead of everybody else. Don't spam your own platforms. What I mean here is you should be keeping your marketing to a minimum. What your audience wants from you is content that they can find value in. Provide tips and tricks, how to's, advice, engaging questions, something to make them laugh, or something that educates them. Sprinkle your sales pitches between this content and your audience is a lot more likely to support you. When you do this, they feel like it's a two-way relationship where you're providing them value and in turn, they want to support you. You do not want your audience to feel like you're keeping them around just because you can make money off of them. Do be human. Make yourself relatable to your audience. They want to follow and support a person, not a robot. While you should keep a sense of professionalism, also make sure to share parts of what make you, you. Whether that's your humor, your family, or your odd sense of style. Give your audience something to hold on to that's you. This will help build a lasting connection with your audience and make sure they stick around for the long haul because they genuinely care about your journey. And finally, don't be afraid to give back. You're only making money as an author because of your audience. If no one's buying your product, you're not making any money. So respect your audience and give back when you can. You can do this in the form of giveaways, donations, or even shout outs. Giveaways are a great way to say thank you to your audience. You're giving them free stuff simply for supporting you in your endeavors. This can be a free signed copy of your book, merch, or even bookish products like notebooks or bookstore gift cards. When you grow your platform to a certain size, you begin to have influence with your audience. Think about if the biggest person that you followed right now was to mention your name on their platform and say how much they loved your work. How much would that mean to you? I mean, that would be huge, right? When you find success, always be sure to give back to those that helped you get there. So there it is, the do's and don'ts of building your author platform. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more bookish and writing related content. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.